All right, what's going on everybody? This video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate trig function, sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent, how to evaluate those in Excel, how to find, you know, the sine, cosine, tangent of an angle. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. So let's just, I'm not going to go through every one of them because they're all the, you do them all the same, but whenever you do a formula in Excel, you hit the equal sign. And so then you type in sine. I want to take the sine of this angle. And so I do parentheses and I type, say I want to take the sine of 30 degrees. All right. And I hit enter. And when we do that, look what happens. That's not right, is it? Because we know from trig that the sine of 30 is one half, right? But that's not giving us one half, okay? So why is that? Well, whenever you're taking the sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, or cotangent of an angle in Excel, that angle measure has to be in radians, all right? And see, this is degrees. Well, let's come up here. Do we know how to convert 30 degrees to radians? Well, sure we do. We multiply it by pi over 180. So I would need to do pi times, and then I'm going to divide this by 180. And I wonder if, if that's going to work, if I'm going to get a error message or, or something besides a number. Let, let's hit the enter key and see. Now, what happened here? Because I've got, I've got up here, I've got pi times 30. Okay. Well, when you're multiplying by pi in a formula, you can't just type pi. You have to do pi and then you have to put a set of parentheses like this. Okay. So that's, that's how you would do pi times the 30, degree, 30 degrees and then divided by 180. And then when we hit enter, there we go. We got it in, well, we've got one half, okay? Now, that's, that's one way to do it. But, you know, I, I don't know if I want to do it like that because, because every time you're telling me I've got to type pi times 30, or pi times the angle and then divided by 180. Well, I don't want to do that. So let, let's let's look at something else. Let's look at it a different way, maybe a little bit easier. So remember what we have typed up here. So let's come down here and let's take the sine of 30 degrees again. So I've got equals sine. And then, now remember, I'm doing 30 degrees. Okay, that's what I want to do, the sine of 30. And of course... It has to be in radians. Well, Excel has a function built in where I can type in radians and then the 30 degrees would need to go in parentheses. So see here I've got radians and then 30 degrees. So what that's doing is that's converting 30 degrees into radians. And when I hit enter, there we go. All right. And, and, and that works the same thing for cosine and tangent. And then the cosecant, secant, and cotangent, well, Excel has those functions too. How about we do the, whoop, I forgot to hit the equals, equals cosecant, okay? Now remember, remember, sine and cosecant, they're reciprocals of each other. So if I take the cosecant of 30 degrees, I should get two as an answer, right? Well, let's go ahead and type radians and let's put 30 degrees in parentheses. Whoop. Okay, let's see. I need one more. All right, so let's do the cosecant of 30 and see what happens. And there you go, that's two. All right, and then we can also uh, take the uh, sine, cosine, tangent, and all that 
of of a angle in radians. Well, let's let's ha how about we do the cosine of pi over three? Okay, what's pi over three? That's pi over three radians. That's sixty degrees, right? So what's the cosine of sixty degrees? It's one half, or the cosine of pi over three is one half. So how would we put that in? Well, equals cosine, and then we want to do pi over three. So we got to do pi, and then do the parentheses divided by six. I'm sorry, divided by three, and we should get one half as an answer. And there you go. All right. So so that's how you evaluate trig functions in Excel. Sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent. Just remember, your angle measure has to be in radians. And what you can do, you can either convert it yourself by doing pi times the angle, the angle and then divide it by 180. Or you can just type in radians 30. And that's a function in Excel that converts an angle measure from degrees to radians. Okay, and 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 there's also a function uh, that converts radians to degrees. So if we did degrees, well, let me put the equal sign. So if we did degrees, all right, and then let's convert pi over three. So that's going to be pi over 3. And that should give us 60 degrees. And there it is, 60 degrees. So we converted pi over 3 to degrees. All right, so I hope this video helped. Go check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.